Lovin' right here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Wind Chaser Farms, and we are harvesting potatoes. Woohoo! Uh, if you watched the live stream here a couple of days ago, uh, I did a live stream on this map here where we started the uh, potato harvest here on uh, Field 19. Uh, making progress slowly but uh, surely here. And uh, yeah, I found out a couple things with the uh, potato harvest here. Uh, I remember back when I bought the potato equipment there. I bought the, uh, what brand was it, the Ropa? I think it's the Ropa Toe Behind Potato Harvester. Uh, yes, this one right here. I thought I'd give it a try. You know, never used it before. So, you know, I thought we'd at least uh, start with it. Obviously, my intention was to have course play, you know, run a course with it. Uh, but what I found out, uh, course play does not recognize that as a harvester. Therefore, oh, come on, really? Have me out of the game, sure. I'm not even doing anything, and it tabs me out of the game. Um, so yes, uh, found out course play does not recognize that as a harvester. So uh, therefore, course play will not unload said potato harvester, and uh, and of course you know because the it's not recognized as a harvester, course play doesn't uh, give you any access to the harvester tabs. It's just uh, it's not good. So yeah, unfortunately, I was not able to use that. Uh, it would harvest. Course play would run around and harvest for it or with it, but it would not unload it. And then, not to mention the uh, silly unload here for it. Uh, course play wouldn't even know enough to raise the uh, not really a pipe, but in the game it's called a pipe. I uh, would not even know enough to raise and lower that. So. Generally speaking, an utter disaster. So anyway, I uh, decided to just uh, straight upgrade to the uh, self-propelled here. And uh, so far, it's been working uh, pretty good. Uh, going up and down the field here at this point, I suppose I should get the unloading tractor going here. And uh, yes, everyone's still dealing with that silly old head cold yet. Uh, it just will not go away. So uh, let's see what's here. Field 19, unload potato. Oh, I found something else out as well. Our uh, storage silos will not hold potatoes. Not maybe a particular surprise to me. Uh, so what I did is I put a silo king down right by our bale cell point here. And uh, yeah, that's where we're uh, unloading the potatoes at. Uh, let's see once here. What else do we got going on? Uh, field one, it is mostly mowed. I didn't even bother letting them finish that last little corner there. They were getting kind of derpy in that corner just because of the turns they were having to do. So I just kind of stopped there. We definitely need to replace those mowers. Uh, I was looking at the W260, but someone said that does not work with course place. So we might not do that then. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got the horse already. Okay, perfect. Um, This does not appear to be where the start-stop point is, though. Oh, wait, no, this is not the course. This is field four. I need a field one course. And let's do maybe like two headlands. That should be good. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to bump this down, too. I think on Glen Isle, I'm using 17 meters. That seems to be working pretty good, so let's go with that. And we'll save that as field one, 17 meter mo. And yeah, like I was saying, everyone still have not gotten over this cold yet. I guess uh, when people said this cold lasts like uh, three, four weeks, they weren't kidding, unfortunately. Uh, first waypoint, drive the course. It seems like this cold just keeps uh, flip-flopping between uh, sinuses, uh, lungs, back to the sinuses, back to the lungs. Uh, do some coughing, do some hacking, do some blowing in your nose. And, oh, well, it's, uh, didn't have enough fun the first time around. Let's do it all over again. So, yeah, one, one nasty cold so far. Uh, let's see, field 18 is planned and field 4 is ready to be mowed again. We definitely need to upgrade mowers, though. I definitely don't feel like uh, 
doing that field with these mowers here again. They are 100% uh, broken. They were 100% broken here when I started field one. Didn't even bother repairing them because, again, it's like, like 15 minutes, they're 100% broken. So it's just utterly ridiculous. And then not to mention, look at the dirt texture on these. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it looks like we're mowing mud with these things. Hey. I mean, come on, Mod uh, You know, in my opinion, if the Mod Author doesn't know how to do the dirt or can't get the dirt to look somewhat reasonably, get rid of it. It doesn't need dirt then. Uh, like these tractors. I don't think these tractors... Well, I guess maybe the tractors do get dirty. Maybe? Or maybe it takes them really long. Maybe that's... I mean, obviously the tires are dirty. The rest of the tractor really... I guess the rest of the tractor is getting dirty. Very slowly. I guess? I don't, I don't know. Uh, looks like this one is clean, and this one, yeah, this one here is a little bit dirtier. Uh, 8.7. They should really have about the same hours on them. Yeah, 8.2. Yeah, it's got an extra half hour on it. Okay. And you can see this field has, uh, field one has started uh, growing already. Are you going to go unload? That, uh... Harvester over there, or has he? Oh, maybe he did already. Okay. Well, let's see. How are we looking for uh, potatoes so far? Wow. We got 300,000 potatoes so far. Uh, this is kind of what I was banking on, everyone. Uh, with the yields on this map being absolutely abysmal, uh... I was kind of wondering, did the map author take the time to modify the potato and sugar beet yields? I'm guessing not. And I'm also looking at it, it doesn't look like he's modified the prices either. Ah, yes, yes. So uh, potatoes might be our cash crop on this map. We'll find out. Because uh, I do have another field of potatoes planted. I planted, was it three? I think it was three. Yes, I got field three planted in uh, potatoes as well. I got field 18 planted in uh, sugar beets. Uh, but I'm going to need a harvester for that. And uh, if I had a guess, if the potato harvester doesn't work, what's the chances of the sugar beet harvester working? I don't know. Probably not very good. Uh, if anybody out there has used it and it works with course play, let me know. Maybe we'll start with the toe behind because obviously that's a little bit cheaper. Because at this point, it's going to be a while before I can afford a uh, self-propelled one, uh, as nice as it would be. Uh, we're looking at probably, what, uh, 500 uh, it's actually not... Oh, wait, no, these aren't the harvesters. There we go. Yeah, 500,000. Or if we went with the panther. Um, or the tiger, actually. The tiger, ooh. Probably what we'll go with. I'll probably try the rope up. Obviously, I've used the homer before. Uh, header size... I think they're about the same, aren't they? Uh, the homer one is quite a bit larger. I thought there was a larger header for the ropa, too. Maybe not. And I don't think you can use these, uh, like put the Homer on the uh, on the uh, Ropa one, I don't think. So you do have to use the Homer header with the Homer and the Ropa header with the Ropa <laughs> to make sense. Uh, oh, well. Anyway, let's uh, get Field 2 planted here as well then. Uh, field 2, you know what? I got it plowed. Yeah, we should be good to start planting that then. Uh, let's see what's here. Speaking of planters, what shall we plant on? Well, let's, let's find out here. Probably go with some sort of the, uh, multi-fruit crops here. Uh, what have we not done so far? We haven't done Milo. Uh, we haven't done Sudan grass or wet corn or rice. Ooh, rice. Shall we do rice? I'm thinking I like the sounds of rice. Let's do that. Uh, let's see, is this the right end? I think it is. Yep. I don't know what a pressure washer is doing right out in the middle here. I don't remember putting a pressure washer down there. Oh, good. Rice was the next selection. Perfect. Okay, and let's, uh, yeah, we'll get a course play course going for this as well. Uh, course, oh, course generation. Uh, field two. Let's do two, yeah, shall we do three? Let's do three headlands. 
Uh, nine meters. Yeah, that probably should be good, I think. Pretty sure that's the width of this one. And generate the course. Ah, uh, that took a moment to uh, generate. If you watch the live stream, though, uh, was it field 19, I think? We generated the course for the tow-behind potato harvester. Uh, I'm betting everyone it probably took a solid five minutes to generate that course. It was uh, getting to the point, it's like, oh boy, has the game crashed here? Because this is like, I knew it was going to take a while. I did not expect it to take that long. And uh, kind of in a good way, that course didn't actually work because the tow behind potato harvester is not recognized by course play. So we just ended up getting rid of that course. But still, even the, uh, the self-propelled potato harvester course here still took a while to generate too. So uh, let's save you as field two. Ooh, nine meter plant. Oh, cannot type today. Barely talk today as well, so uh, oh well. Might be a bit of a shorter episode as a result. Maybe we'll like came for 20 minutes or so instead of a half hour. If maybe I can uh, like throw up a high speed video or something. I'm doing some work here. Obviously you got lots of potato harvesting to be done. Uh, this field to be planted. I wonder if the uh, larger planter can plant rice. Maybe we should check that. It uh, doesn't really technically matter because, I mean, course play's doing it, so... It doesn't really matter to me how long it takes. As long as uh, course play can do it without, you know, too much crashing and smashing going on, I'm happy. I need a bigger tractor on that planter, though. Ooh. We'll see once. Uh, let's see, I could probably get a baler going on field one here at this point. Or, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, I better wait, actually. Now that I think about it. I should wait for him to finish windrow in here, because otherwise... Uh, he is going to, uh, like, grab all the bales that are already baled. So, yeah, better wait. Would be nice if I could get the baler going, but yeah. Uh, this should be producing grass bales, to my understanding, by the way. And I would like to wrap those. Uh, yeah, I should have enough money to purchase a wrapper here. I believe we got one from the Anderson DLC that I wanted to try. So, I believe that's the only square bail one that comes with the Anderson DLC is that one. Can't really tell the difference, to be honest. They look about the same. I guess this one can only wrap round bales. This one can wrap round and square bales, so... I don't know, they look about the same, really. I guess this one just has a little bit different wrapping uh, on it, so it can wrap the uh, square bales. Uh, foil color... Oh, green, of course. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy... Oh, that's actually nice and cheap. Nice and cheap. I'm going to have to find a tractor I can send up there to go pick this up here now. Uh, who do I have? Uh, slight overkill. Ooh, perfect. You'll work. Not exactly the quickest of tractors, but he'll, uh, he'll get up there. And, of course, if you watched a couple episodes back, I did create a course by course that runs from the main farm to the shop. So, all I have to do is uh, main farm to shop. And tell him to start the first waypoint, which is in here somewhere, I believe. Yeah, there it is over there. And tell him to drive the course. And then uh, once he's up at the shop, yeah, I believe he'll let us know. Let's reach the waiting point, and we'll uh, stop in there, grab the uh, wrapper, and then have the uh, course reloaded to the main, or to the shop, to the main farm. So have him drive back. I know someone's asking, don't you like driving back and forth to the shop and the main farm? Uh, it's all right, you know, the first couple of times, everyone, but uh, once you do it for the 20th time, it's like, nope. And given the fact it's like, what, 15-minute drive? No, no thanks. No, thank you. So definitely glad we uh, got those course play courses for that. That is, uh, that works out really nice. Uh, let's see, what else do we got going on here? Fertilizer, ooh, wait, field four. Oh, field four is already ripe. I can probably not spray any more fertilizer on that, can I? Uh, field one does need fertilizer. 
And you should be putting down fertilizer. Why are you... Oh, I know why, probably. Oh, you are set to zero. Right. Why is zero as the set as the default? Annoying. Oh, you're going to start at the next. That'd be good. Ah, you're spinning your tires, aren't you? Try that. Yes, I might have to get a bigger tractor on this. Why don't we do that? Okay, we'll put a bigger tractor on it. I wonder does the big bud have three-point arms? I don't remember if it does or not. That's the problem with some of these articulated tractors. They don't necessarily always have uh, three-point arms. Obviously, the big articulated tractors like that are usually designed for heavy tillage work. So, and heavy tillage work, at least uh, in the U.S. where I live, doesn't usually involve three-point arms. It involves a big, beefy hitch. Oh, I do have the 8130 there, too. I can put him on it. That would also probably work. Probably keep the 8130, though. That, that tractor's, I think, a little more useful for other odds and ends. Whereas, yeah, the articulated's here. I don't have any plans on using them in the near future. So, let's see. Who has a hitch? Or a three-point hitch, to be more precise. You do not. Ah, but you do. Perfect. Okay, I know it's articulated, but let's uh, see once how well course play does with this. I mean, it does pretty good with uh, plow. No, you know what? This is actually going to be fixed on the back with a three ball. That's going to be interesting. It's not going to be like a, you know, towing behind it, so... Okay. Let's see, where's field two? We'll just have you start back at the first waypoint. That's fine. Uh, still set on rice. Yeah, that's good. Oh, good. He's putting the uh, fertilizer back down, too. Excellent. Oh, oh, wait. No, no, it is too working. It is working. Okay, good. Just took the map a moment to update there. I was like, oh, no, it's not working. It is. Hmm. Um, right. Okay, course play. Right. Horseman's actually been doing really good on this field here. Or at least he was, anyway. Oh, come on. Really? I'm getting uh, tabbed out of the game a lot here lately. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to have to uh, uh, investigate. That's what the fourth or fifth time here just this episode alone. Like the first uh, first minute we already got tabbed out of the game there. So I know sometimes when you have course play open, uh, you know, if you're right clicking on stuff and yeah, sometimes that'll, that'll screw up there. And the next thing you know, you're clicking off on another screen. Uh, probably not a problem if you only got one screen, but if you have more than one screen, which in my case, I've got one to each side and one above. So I can either click above or below or to the side, or not, well, I guess I can't click below, but uh, to either side or above. And, uh, yeah, hand out of the game as a result. Like I said, course is always a good way of uh, getting that to happen. Uh, oh, good, 1586 has reached the trigger end point. We'll grab that wrapper there. And I'm hoping this will work with course play. We'll find out, I guess. That was uh, my intentions, anyway. Okay, I'm interested in how this uh, folds out, because, uh, yeah, this is definitely not going to work this way. It's going to have to be folded out way to the side of the tractor. Uh, in fact, I'm probably going to want a tractor that doesn't have duels on it. But, well, I guess we just freed up the 7610, so that might be perfect.
Oh, you know, why am I driving this? Uh, I can have course play do this. Right. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, main farm. Nope, shop to main farm. There we go. Okay, we'll uh, see him when he's back at the farm here. Uh, how are we looking on the wind rowing here? Yeah, making pretty good progress. Yeah, definitely glad I went with the uh, two headlands here. You can see he's pretty much uh, eating up the entirety of the second headland. You're definitely going to take a while to plant this field, aren't you? Wow. Actually, of course, I used to have... Oh, it does have a timer. Three hours and 25 minutes, everyone. Three hours and 25 minutes to plant this field. Wow. Wowie wow. That, uh, that is a long time to plant this field. Okay. So pretty much uh, three hours and 30 minutes, probably, because he's already been at it for a few. Yeah, so three hours and 30 minutes to uh, plant that field. And that's assuming your course play doesn't screw up along the way. Uh, do something stupid or silly. I mean, course play would never do that, right? Right. So undoubtedly, it'll probably take more like four hours. Depends on how well that articulated tractor turns around and all that good stuff. Course play is usually pretty accurate with those numbers, by the way. So when it says it's going to take three hours, assuming you know it doesn't get stuck or something like that along the way, that is approximately how long it'll take. Oh, yeah, like I said, that, that's fairly close. Anyway, everyone, I'm not sure I can do much more talking here. Uh, so, yeah, again, uh, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.